purpose of this video is to discuss the concept of the outward normal direction of a surface or the inside and outside of a surface. In Rhino, every surface has the property of an inside and an outside. And when we view the surface, we can come into the Analyze menu and select Direction and it will show the arrows pointing in the direction of the outside. These are called outward normals. If the properties are not correct on that surface, you can use the flip option to flip it to the right direction. So why is this important? Well, in ORCA 3D, any surface whose outward normals are pointing into the water will contribute to the buoyant volume. Any surfaces whose normals are pointing inside will actually deduct from the volume. So it's important to get these correct in order to compute the hydrostatics properly. So let's look at a couple of real examples. We'll start with a basic ship hull created from the ship hull assistant. And if I select a surface and I use the dir command, or again I can go to the analyze menu and select direction, you can see the arrows pointing in the outward direction. So those are correct. If I use the flip command or the flip option on the dir command, you can see the arrows are now pointing into the hull, not into the water. So that would deduct from the volume. So we don't want to do that. And you can select multiple surfaces and use the direction command to look at them all at one time. If you have a very complex model, this can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes with these arrows, it's a little hard to tell, and certainly hard to tell quickly with a big model if these are correct. So there is another way. If I right-click on any of the viewport titles and go to Display Options, under Rhino Options, Appearance, Advanced Settings, Shaded, I can set my single back face color. So I've set it to red distinctive from the other colors that I'm using in the model. And let's hide this surface for a moment so we can just see the port side of the hull. So we're looking at the underside of the deck, the inside of the transom, and the inside of the port side of the hull. So the outside of a surface is shown in whatever color I have on that layer, in this case gray. And the inside is shown in that back face color. So I can very quickly just glance in at this tell that my outward normals are correct. Now this hull has a bow thruster tunnel and if we look at that more carefully again remember that we want the outward normals pointing into the water so while at first you might think that the arrows should be pointing outward if you will on the cylinder that would be incorrect because we want the arrows pointing into the water so if I use the dir command we can see that the arrows are in fact pointing into the fluid in the tunnel. If I flip that, now you can see that they're pointing out of the water, which is not correct. So we won't flip that. If I did flip it, you'd see the color change. There it is as red. We'll flip it back. Here it is as gray, and that's correct. So now the hydrostatics would compute correctly for this model. Let's look at another example, in this case a planing hull, again done with the assistant. I'm going to turn off the sections just to make it a little bit easier to see. And if you look back here, you can see that there is a tunnel that's been intersected with the hull and its normal is incorrect because it's red. If we look at the inside of the model we can see that it's gray and that's incorrect. Now during the process of creating this tunnel and intersecting it you can see that not only was this surface created but also there's a small wedge right here. And that will have to be flipped as well. So I can select both of those surfaces and flip them. And again, now if we look from the inside, you can see that their colors are correct. And this hull, uh, the chine flat, is actually a separate surface. 
and we can see that that is incorrect as well. So I'll select that and flip it. And the point is that when you have a model with a lot of different surfaces, you need to examine it carefully uh, at least once as you're working to be sure that the outward normals are correct before you compute the hydrostatics. To see more videos, download a demo, or purchase a license of Orca 3D, please visit www.orca3d.com.